made me really happy. Yeah, can I get a down in the chat? I mean, a boss in the chat? A down boss? Oh, yeah! <laughs> What's up, Beast Board? <laughs> can you hear my Discord chat? Can you hear other people? Wonder Bread. Boom. First try. Nailed it. <laughs> Beast Bork. Be Spork. Can you hear the people? <laughs> Can you hear the puppy. little dog? See, si. oh, very nice. So. I speak Spanish, sir. So try again. Yeah. What is? What is? You spelled is wrong. I don't know what's yeah. going on out there. Yeah. Yeah. J A. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome in, everybody. See, si. yes. Oh, I see. So sick. I slipped on. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to episode number two of Delving in Dwimmermount. Uh, we left off last with God the party entering the trophy room again. Did you guys flee back oh, to no the trophy room? Uh, sorry, my. I know a little lady with a map. I have the map, yes, but hush, the fuck the dog. My hand is kind of full. Uh, cause we got the... What the fuck? These oh things? shit, I have to reset that. Sorry guys, sorry, let me reset the points. <laughs> but, uh... Well, you guys figure out where you're at. You no, know, we came out and killed the mosquito. And then we talked yeah. to the gnolls. Mm -hmm. We got them all to tie each and other And then we up. killed the gnoll that had all the money. That's right. If he lied to us. As gnolls tend to do. I don't remember after that. Let's see here. Let me fix that module real quick. He's very uh, playful right now, so uh, I want to cast a silent spell. And I'll be back when they calm down. Okay, appreciate you, brother. Um, okay. Uh, I need to figure out how to clear out the the points. We have not done that. <clears throat> Doggy dog. Absolutely not. We were going back the way we had come, uh, and then going to the right door after the chamber. Oh, leaderboard. <laughs> we were we were in. It looked like a. How did you uh, describe the it? The chapel, like chapel room. Yeah, we were stuck in the chapel room. We found a secret door that went to a secret room that had a bunch of stuff in it. And then we um. And then we were mosquito. waiting. For... Yep, mm -hmm. killed the mosquito, and then we were going somewhere else. It's all yeah, we were coming back to me. Through the hallway. Okay. Oh, Wonder well, Bread, I mean, if you type in exclamation point hats, you now have a list of hats. If we're in the same area, let's go look at that altar room again. Yeah, you guys were... If we're close to it, if not, we can move forward. You guys were not I too we far were... away. Mm -hmm. I just had a sudden realization as I remembered one of those characters that I read. Gold pimp hat, sir. I got you with the gold hat. Let's see here. Let's see here. What do we got? Oh, yeah. Oh, there we are. Uh, but I'm wearing uh, headphones, pimp. so we're just gonna... Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Maybe I can lower my chair just a little bit. Let's see. Looks better out of frame. Is a bucket a hat? Uh, I mean, I do have some food grade uh, mead buckets. Okay, here bucket. we go. Yeah, KFC bucket. Oh, we need a KFC bucket. Wonder Bread, you eat KFC, don't you? No, not 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 our grand, or not our KFC, bro. Yeah, that's mm. what I told him. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's a little. <laughs> it's a little rough. <laughs> I mean, that just makes it KFC. No, no, no. That's 
there's better KFCs for sure. There really is. <laughs> so you guys um, want to return to the chapel? Sure. According to Pooby, the fucking uh, KFCs over in Singapore slap. Mm. Singapore is the cleanest and I, safest. Uh, I imagine most KFCs are better than ours. <laughs> You haven't been to where like, I was. Pretty <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if it's worse than that Midwestern KFC. I don't know. Because the one here in town's pretty bad. But uh, we'll head back to the chapel, yeah? Okay. I honestly yeah. think. Sorry. Um, take your compass that's facing north and turn it so north is facing to the west. Because otherwise, every level of this dungeon is about to be fucked up. I actually think that we should go back to the main square that we had walked down to, from the stairs, mm -hmm. and try <clears> going <throat> to the right side and seeing if there's a stairway downward or if there's a way out other than that one. That's fair. Um. to it. It could probably, it's probably nothing, to be honest. That's true. Um, was there any writing on the scarab, by the way? Oh, yeah, let me look up the uh, scarab real quick for you. Because I'll look at that again. So I'm talking about the other runes in the chapel. Okay. What uh what exactly was the name of the Oh, I see here. The Death Scarab. <clears throat> I have Elder Thulian as my second language. Inscribed with ancient Thulian runes. Okay, that's cool. What do they say? They just say bug on that. <laughs> Rock bug. Oh, man. Really? It doesn't have... Oh, that's odd. Yeah, it doesn't have a damn thing about it. Alright, well, what's to say, Dungeon Master? Let's see, we're gonna pull something out of the hat for you. So it's a poem addressing someone's own heart to be weighed, hoping not to bear witness against, and there's the name of a god that you don't recognize, during a final judgment in their afterlife. Alright, so I have an intelligence support. I know myself. About the feather thing, but I don't know if my uh, Mr. Finney is here knows. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it certainly would have been a very ancient practice compared to the death rites that the uh, current era Thulians are aware of. Um. Oh, I guess I'll ask one of the clerics in the party who's left. Wonderbread. <laughs> What's the question? You know anything about death rites involving scarabs? Mm. 
can't say that I do. Let's see. Well, I'm sure someone on top side might find great value of this, so. Put that in my pocket. Yeah, you could certainly have it appraised once you uh, return to uh, Mont. What was it? It's been a while. Mountain, mountain. Yeah, once yeah, you return to Mountain, Mountain. Montberg. Montberg. Yeah, Mont Montberg. Is the name Enough of for the uh, scare yeah. business, I suppose. And you head back to the wherever you need to go, little thief. Uh, <clears throat> I still think we should go to the main room. That would be where we were going. What seems like southwest? Southwest? Uh, so... <clears throat> to return to the main room, you guys would go uh, west. To go back to the chapel, you would go to the east. And okay, so west it is. Yeah, west. Here, I'll be right back. Sorry. Yeah, no sweat. But West seems like the uh, more opportune way, as there are more doors. Mm -hmm. More danger, but more doors. Okay. Well, we did kind of bar up one door, or block it. Well, the other one that was. Well, yeah. We the nail shot one. Oh. Let's go west. Okay. So you guys head towards the west. Uh, going back down through... What was that room? The reception hall where the orcs were slain. And into the main entrance chamber. There is a set of double doors to the south. The exit to the north... <clears throat> um, the guard room that you had pillaged also to the north on the other side and then to the east is another doorway that um, <clears throat> it's now open because of the zombie that had wandered through however you do not see any sign of the zombie Beastborg I see you out there we haven't gone through the double doors no, you have not. Beastborg with the boss yeah. kill. You guys want to go through the double doors? Can I check for anything <clears throat> unseen in this room, please? I, um, I think if we're going through the double doors, we can do that last. What are... Save the best for first or like second. Like certain traps or anything? Um, so you can either describe it to me, or as a thief, you can make a roll. Uh, it's on a d100. A 90 and up would be successful to find anything. Ninety-one. That's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, so with a ninety one, you would find what is that? Number 11. Um, you would find that the 
door seems to be wired to the ceiling in some way. However, disarming the trap is a whole other animal. Where is this trap? The double doors. Would I see it up top? Like, how how far <clears throat> up top? Basically, far. as as you feel the side, um, kind of the trim around the doorway, you can feel a wire line that just runs uh, up, basically straight into the stonework of the uh, ceiling. There's stones protruding outward. Um, it doesn't appear that anything like on the wall is protruding outward towards you. It all seems pretty even with the uh, rest of the surrounding dungeon walls. Uh, then I can't do anything with that. <laughs> so I'm going to let the party know. What if we just So do we see the trap? She recognized that the door appears to be wired to the ceiling, but you can't quite make out what that wire uh, does. Hmm. Well, can we cut the wire? You can certainly try. That'll probably set it off. Well, we could use a, uh, what you call it, a spear. A pole? Cut the wire. What? Use a pole? No, a spear. I said hold. Uh, Do you have, have a spear? Yeah, my henchmen have spears. Oh, we picked a couple up out of the guard room. Not I'm having dying. a ten foot pole on your person? Okay. I don't want to well, die, okay? Here, we could do even better. We could tie two spears together and have a doubly long deep. spear. <laughs> However yeah, long a spear it is. Be back away from it. Or pay one of the gnolls to open it. That's what I want to do. I want to take <laughs> two spears that my henchmen have, tie them together with rope, mm -hmm. and then cut the wire with the mm -hmm. double spear. I'm going to stand back as far as I can while he's trying to make all of this. Okay. I don't know what he's trying to set up over there. Um... Yes, yeah, so tying the spears together is easy enough. 20 feet behind him. Um, you manage to tie it in such a way, we'll say in two or three spots, you lash it together. So it feels pretty sturdy. What are you, uh, what are you doing? I'm going to try to cut that wire. Okay. Uh, what's the length of a spear? I, I have no idea. We could just say it's like eight. So minus the overlap, maybe like a 14 foot stick. Okay. Yeah, I'll give you a 14 foot stick. <laughs> um, so go ahead and make an attack roll with that uh, spear. Oh. Double ended spear. I'm attacking the wire. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. That's. I get. I got a ten. <clears throat> That's plenty to hit a okay. wire, right? Yeah, actually, uh, between you and the God King, uh, yeah, we were looking for a ten. Perfect. Nice and average. So you slice the wire. Uh, where are you standing? Fourteen feet. Well, maybe more like twelve feet back. I don't know. Like, yeah. Okay. Maybe like fourteen feet back. As, far as, as you. Can, slice the wire a five foot wide by two foot thick stone falls from the ceiling smashing your spears underneath it both or just the, the top one uh whatever you had in your hands yeah yeah but are both the spears wrecked or just the one yeah they are both crushed under the might okay. of the 
God only knows. I, there's probably some sort of conversion table for how heavy that stone might be. We're not going to do that. Um, well, just, just one. No more spears. No more spears, how however. Maybe like two, two, three feet of rope? Or yeah, I would say two feet of rope. Uh, the rope is under the stone. So, I mean, you could. Beastie with the boss kill. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just say I have, like, you know, a few feet less for rope. Mm-hmm. Huh? The stone yeah. itself is only about a foot thick, so you could certainly walk over it, etc. Oh, we're not playing so... JRPG rules for the not block. It's one inch. <laughs> Right. So double doors or door where zombie came through? When we can go kill that zombie. Zombie. You won't have fun with that. Where is the zombie now? Oh, you don't. oh yeah. Never mind. So um, double doors. I... Sure. If there's gotta be something good behind it, they try to keep stump or something in. Yeah. I will hand you It's in your head. A A A A that stone made some noise, right? So it might as well just go through it now. <laughs> right? I uh, sure. <laughs> be my guest. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah it came crashing into the floor. I only fear God. Let's do it. I open that door. The double door? The double yeah. door. I freaking open it. Like, does it open inward? I hope. Please say it opens inward. I want to open it inward. <laughs> he wants to swing it wide. Yeah, I want to be like cool and open it like. Whatever. I kick him in. Okay. I don't know. I try to open the door. You kick the doors in. Um, I'm not going to make you roll an attack for it since you guys already had to struggle with this trap. So you kick the doors in, they swing open, slamming into the walls on either side. And more noise. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, good call. Oh, beautiful. Um, you see a 20-foot wide hallway by... A 20 by 80 hallway. So 20 feet wide by 80 feet long. Um, I don't know how they did things over in the clergy, but you know you can use your hands to open the door, right? I thought it would be dramatic. <laughs> and with dramatic comes it. noise. Did you see how cool I looked, though? You did look cool, but you've also Thanks. brought more attention to our patients. So I would advise we uh, not stick around here much longer. Exactly, so let's go down this hallway. And keep walking. <laughs> So as you guys proceed, you see, yeah, that's fine. Uh, you see a six foot tall statue of a very muscular man wearing armor. He appears to be carrying a shield and wielding a wickedly barbed spear. Atop his shoulders sit the bearded head of, let's see, the cleric and I'm going to go with Beastie. What's your character's name again? Phineas the first. Phineas. Yeah, I have your names written down. I should fucking... There we go. And Phineas um, would recognize it as the head of Terms Termax, which was the previous uh, god king. Um, what you find odd is the body itself appears to have been carved earlier. Um... Phineas, you would recognize it to be Mavers, the old god of war. So it appears he replaced the head. Well, that head doesn't belong. I wonder if it comes off. Um. Ooh. Yeah, we should try. At least an extra the hallway? head. Yeah, we're still in the hallway. And I would make sure it's not rigged first, but. Yeah, can we inspect this statue? As you, put the other you creep right forward, there? you see the silhouettes of six orcs 
arguing amongst each other in the chambers. Well, this just got interesting. Didn't our other... You got it, uh, Professor. Derek? His name is Did now Cars Carmax. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, say that the, the masks were like something to the orcs history? Like ancient yeah, well ones? Don't we get like advantage against them? Yeah, did yeah. these masks like make orcs For terrified of them us? being a beast man thing? Um, it was kobolds. Let's see. I think orcs wow. are always on that list. Um, 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 um. Let's see, three seventeen. Thulean War Mask. Wearing the War Mask gives you a plus one to reaction rolls when encountering all oh, orcs. Gnolls, Minotaurs, and other beastmen traditionally subservient to the Thulians. I happen to add in gnolls and kobold, or kobolds to that list. But. This is why you have me here. <laughs> so yeah, you guys have a uh, plus one when you engage the orcs in front of you. Perfect. Should we tell them to piss off? Yeah, I think we should. Yeah, we'll be like, booga, 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 booga. Or, you Get know, I could here. speak in the old tongue to really sell it. Yeah, right? I'll hide in the shadows and you use tongue. Oh. Oh, my God. I, I, uh, <laughs> uh, Excuse uh, me? <laughs> if he wasn't wearing his mask, he would be turning red right now. I think Phineas will clear his throat. It's like, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Do we know what they're arguing over? I can probably sneak up there and like listen in on their conversation. Uh, Being do I? I don't know. Would any of you recognize Orcish language? I don't think I. I'm not sure if I would. I mean, being a thief, I would think that I've done deals with orcs and other things, but I'll leave that up to you. You deal with orcs? Filthy. How do you spell your yeah, character's no. last name, uh, Grizzle? It's G L O V. Grizzle Glove? I like it. Yeah, that's what the generator gave me. It's glove. Oh, phew, well, excuse, excuse me. you, Bob. You sure it's not French for glove? Glove. There's no e. Yeah, there's no e. It's glove. Glove. Here you go, Leroy. Leroy. Jenkins. So, Jenkins. I'm gonna the move the my uh, Thank you, professor. The room for distraction purposes, and then. I'll unmute myself. That is quite all right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Just wanted to get some names on the uh, plates there. So you guys are going to intimidate the orcs? Is that the plan? <laughs> I don't want to really sneak anywhere unless we're just gonna like either take these guys on or get the fuck out of here. Well, I'm definitely in no position to fight. I'll fight them, but might be a bad idea unless we can get get them to drop all their shit, which probably they're orcs, probably not. But maybe. I mean, uh, you do have a plus one. 
Um, you could certainly try. This would be like a charisma check, basically. <laughs> Um, basically, what you're going to do is describe your interaction with them. I'm going to have you roll and add your charisma plus whatever your bonus is. Or your charisma yeah. bonus plus one. My charisma is pretty bad, so... Might not, not be the best idea. I mean, it might not be the worst idea. I mean, I don't have any bonuses, but I don't have any negative. Yeah, I get negative on charisma. But I'll, I'll go up and talk to them. I'll tell them to drop their shit. I don't give a fuck. Uh, I will probably do that. Okay, you can do it. Alright, is everybody ready? Yeah. That's a, if there's a fight. How wide I'm is leaving. this hallway? 20? Uh, the 20 hallway, uh, it's 20 feet wide by. About 80 feet to the uh, main portion of the chamber where the statue and the orcs are. It, we shocked by like the, the normal D&D &D five. Yeah, square. right about. Unless you're, you know, unless you'd like to argue that your character is smaller for whatever reason, we'll assume about five feet. Okay. So we should get into like a, a quick like rank and file formation. Let these motherfuckers know that we're we're trained, we're elite. Well, I call it from the back. All right. Well, you got to talk to him though. I'll speak from the back. <laughs> well, that shows cowardice. Or he's a wizard, know, Harry. General stuff. Oh, he's a wizard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else got some charisma? Old Grizzle Glove. I'm here. I'm back. Uh, uh, charisma. Yeah. Wait, does anybody even speak uh, Orcish? Eleven no, is what I got. I don't Elder Thulian. I don't speak the things, unfortunately. So maybe we should just either leave or try to kill him. I don't think speaking with him is gonna work. Personally. <laughs> um. Orcs, are, are orcs known to speak common? Uh, some orcs, though, as a form of intimidation, they typically—they'll uh, typically, you know, do their war cries and so on in their native tongue. And from what you can tell by how they're arguing right now, they're only speaking orcish, as far as you can uh, identify it. Well. Well, fuck it. Let's just get in rank and file, see see what happens. Um, I guess you could just yell at him from the back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't oppose this idea. Let's do it. Maybe they can... They're blocking the way to something good. Probably. They could be, but are you prepared to deal with getting through them? communicate with them. Could we offer them a gift? They're dirty orcs. They don't even deserve life, really. <laughs> Professor, you're the best. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Just intimidating. <laughs> So what's the plan? Are you guys going to approach? I'll do it. Okay. All right. Rank and file position. That's are we going to walk All together right. so they know there's more than one person, or are we just going to? I'm going to walk up there by myself and get pummeled. We're going to go. We're going to go. Three. How many? How many people we got? With the two henchmen each, so math. Get like a, there's there's a dozen like of you guys. Three at least. Exactly, three by three. Mm -hmm. I'll be in the middle, dead in the middle, in the front. 
Dig it, dig it. So as you guys approach... Oh, yo, what do you got? Um, uh, I'd like to ready my dagger attack or my, like, strike action. Oh, we're all ready. We got our shit <laughs> out. Um... I'm still sneaking right in the shadows. I'm down to the fuck. Wait, we're not three by three then? Um, make a attempt to hide on a D100. Uh, 98. Wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, you managed to find solace in the shadows on the two edges, either edge of the, uh, the walls of this hallway. And you kind of sneak around the, uh, oh, the lit. Uh, sconces on the walls and somehow are able to sneak behind 11 other individuals. So our you just sneak behind them? Oh yeah. So our 3x3 three three is a th hollow 3x3. Three three. <laughs> yeah, it's open in the middle. There's yeah. still three <laughs> other people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys have a dozen total. There's Nine. Four of us, and we each brought two people to force that. Yeah. Um. All right. Do you guys want to sneak around him, or are we just waltzing up there and running distracted? Yeah, it's a three by four. Sneak behind. So as you guys approach, you realize that the orcs are fighting over food amongst themselves. It appears they've been in here for quite some time, and supplies are dwindling. Um, they appear to be tugging back and forth on basically an already nod. It appears to be some sort of femur. And I have an idea. One of them. Does everybody have rations? <laughs> yeah. Can we enslave them? You could certainly try. <laughs> um, All right, let's walk up. The most lawful thing ever. We could sell them. I guess that's like slavery. Yeah, that's slavery. <laughs> and as you guys approach, one of them from the back looks up at you, and he says, "Oi, what do we have here? Your new gods, and I'll throw them." My okay. Uh, between the masks and the gift, I'll give you guys a plus two to your charisma check here. <clears throat> They're all kind of grinning and drooling at the uh, approaching food. Oh, they think we're food. I got, I got 22. Uh, 11. Did you roll an at 20? Yes, I did. Okay. Well. I'm doing it on the D&D Beyond app, so. That's beautiful. Uh, between the two of you, handing them rations and intimidating them with a war mask that they know deep in their bones to be that of their masters, they are taken aback. The one large orc greets you and gladly takes the rations from you. I these will feed my men for long enough that we might find our way out. Would you be able to tell us where that is? You gotta tell us where the good shit is. Well, unfortunately, the doors from this room have sealed themselves and we've been here for several days. I'm not quite sure where anything else is, and we don't have the means to leave at this point. What you got? Well, I know that there was an old soldier's barracks to the east of here. 
Aside from that, we're pretty low on supplies, and we didn't exactly find what we were looking for. What were you looking for? Uh, different arms, perhaps some gold, though we found old rusty blades and pieces of copper so far. It hasn't been worth our time. And if you hadn't come along, we might have fought over the last of our rations until cannibalizing each other. It seems my men were ready to do so. Well, uh, we'll talk, talk about, about that or being killed on that one when we came in. Having a game was that we even locked, though? And it was booby-trapped on our side, right? So. Well, it was booby-trapped in general, but you guys kicked it in, so... Was it locked? It was before you kicked the lock open. <laughs> oh, I see. <clears throat> they couldn't pull it in towards them because it opens outwards, so you kicking it in basically freed them. So there's an old Thulian barracks to your east. Aside from that, they appear to have meager supplies and no other real information for you. We, we should recruit them. <laughs> All right, Smooth Chakra, you do it. All right, Chief, what inspiring words <clears throat> them? Go ahead. What do you got? Join Point us in our quest to seek riches and fame. Give me a uh, charisma. And honor. Okay. This is going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> I believe in you. Oh, yeah. Seven. Woohoo! He grimaces and says, Well, while I would like to find riches and glory in the depths of Dwemer Mount, unfortunately I should feed my men. Yes, yes. We did arrive seeking death and honor, though after starving for four straight days, we're, uh. Well, I'm personally over it. Yeah, well, cowards. as your new gods, we're giving you your second chance for death and honor. Fifteen uh, on charisma. Oh, you're trying to convince him to stay still? Yeah. Yeah. Even with the fifteen, he's still not quite convinced. He appears worried, whereas maybe a week ago he was war hungry. Well, if these guys are like four days without food, they're like not going to be a challenge, so... I don't know. I mean, I think we should just, like, threaten them even further. <laughs> How many I'm of them? I'm hidden. I There's can stand them, behind right? one with a dagger. So you can either actively threaten them, or you can make an attack, or... Uh, I wouldn't make an attack let's say, quite let's, yet. Let's say join or die. That's a good threat, yeah. right? You gotta roll it, don't you? Yeah, you can at oh, you can attempt to uh, intimidate him. Oh, 17. Mm -hmm. To join or die. Uh, he growls at you with... and begins to draw his blade. All right. I immediately step back. Can I pop out with uh, a dagger to someone's neck? I immediately go to you. Face him in the face. Um, I'm gonna crack one with my sword. I'm going to give Leroy a sneak attack, and then everybody else will be at initiative. Leroy. What? Do we all have the same initiative? Uh, yeah. If you guys would like to do it that way, you can discuss amongst yourselves who takes the first move.
Okay. Um, but you'll pick but one person to roll your initiative. Gets. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll roll for initiative. I wasn't really trying to attack. I was just trying to um, intimidate. You said you were going to stab him in the neck. No, I said, can I put my dagger to his neck? Oh. Um, you can. For the intimidation. You can. Yeah, that adds like plus five to my intimidation, right? <laughs> oh. So he's like, Shit. instead of me attacking him, he's more like, yeah, I'll come with you. Oh, I lost my die under the table. Rest in peace, right. little buddy. Because he came to his realization that life is better than death. <laughs> Does that stream dead? <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, Skits, as you approach, he is going to make an attack against you. Okay. Okay. Does a 16 hit? Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Okay. He hits you for four damage. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yep. Four of me, I'm dead. Nice. Yep. Are you dead or are you unconscious? Uh, uh, well, four was my total HP. So you are unconscious. You are at zero. Okay. How's unconscious work? Basically, if you get knocked to zero, you're unconscious. If you're struck again, you will be dead. Are you un <laughs> unconscious? Uh, you can heal them, let them sleep it off. <laughs> gotcha. So, uh, so should we roll for initiative then? <laughs> yep. I'll just roll for us, then, or does somebody else want to roll? I could roll for us if you guys want me to. Do it. I already rolled. Okay, do it. Got a 19. Okay. I okay. will roll for the remainder of the orcs. Okay, you guys go first. So there's the orc boss, and then five other orcs. Regular orcs. Okay, so I don't know who I was like swinging my mace around at, but whoever was right in front of me, that's who I'm attacking with my mace. Awesome. And and I'm gonna like, you know, shout out and like try to like do like a taunt and be like, you guys are all pussies and just like <laughs> Do it. Make your uh make your attack. I got a seven. Okay. You strike into the armor of the orc war boss with your mighty mace, and it glances off his shoulder. Oosh. Well, you know. So it's another time. Hmm. And then you have two henchmen, or either of them equipped for any sort of combat? One of them's got a uh, mace. Okay. Uh, morale is high, so you could certainly attack with your mace. All right, he'll he'll just go for that guy too. Okay. Ooh, no, nah, no, nah, he didn't make it either. That was like another seven. Shit. Six. Okay. Uh, his mace also is a glancing blow as it sloughs off of the orc's armor. Who's up next? And my other, my other guy's just nothing. He's nothing. <laughs> I'll go, I guess. I've got a sword. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not hitting the boss, obviously, but I rolled a 14. 
Okay. Uh, 14 is just enough to hit the nearest orc. Roll some damages. Four damages. Okay. And you thrust your sword... It was a D8, I apologize. And then any bonuses you get... That one's less, I got two. Well, we're going to take the first roll. You thrust your sword into the gut of the orc, disemboweling him. And he clen- and he reaches down, clenching at his bowels, and he's got guts falling on the floor, and he looks up at you and falls to his knees. And then falls flat on the floor in front of you. Our, you say, Anybody else want some? That's it. Are either of your henchmen uh, equipped for combat? They have daggers, that's it. Okay, well you could make some dagger attacks. Alright. We'll go with one of them. Okay. Hold on, I'm clicking things. <clears throat> We've got... He's a seven. Uh, absolute miss. He goes to poke with his dagger, expecting that it's some sort of long sword, and he's about two feet shy. That's three sevens in a row. Next one's going to be All lucky. Right, and then the, the other one got a 20. Okay. That is a critical hit. Um, I don't know if they do crit confirms in uh, old, 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 old school. We're going to go with no, because I fucking hate them. So uh, that's a critical hit. Go ahead and roll some damage. All right. Definitely crit it's so stupid. It's like you got the crit. Why do you have to confirm the crit? No, 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 no. no. You gotta confirm crit. Three yeah, damage. Stupid. Three damage, so it's doubled. Six damage. It's just like above ten, <clears> isn't <throat> it? And it confirms the crit or ten and above. Yeah, but you already have to roll for the hit, like. But what if it's not like? What if it's just a normal twenty, you know, instead of a crit? There's no such thing as a normal twenty. You, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> So stupid. Yeah. You mean you can get a so called unnatural. It's already a one in twenty chance. Like why make it a one in twenty plus a coin flip? An unnatural twenty is a tw- is the is the amount of twenty with bonus added to it. Yeah, or, so that's just like a twenty, right? So you gotta make sure it is a crit instead of just a twenty. Nope. Okay, for Raymond only, we will crit confirm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just for you. Fine. Are there any, like, statues nearby? Oh, yeah. So, sorry, you stab the orc uh, in the clavicle, and he pulls the, the dagger out, and it's spurting blood everywhere, and the orc looks over at his shoulder, spraying blood across the wall, Looks over at your henchman, who's also terrified, and the orc drops to his knees. Um, in the center of the room, there is the statue of uh, Kars Carmax. Well, mm-hmm. rather, the head of Kars Carmax, uh, placed upon the body of Mavers, the ancient god of war. Well, that's a weird, twisted coincidence. Yeah. Um, the cleric, Raymond Greybush, and Phineas I would recognize uh, the old god of war, as well as Terms Termax, most of you would recognize. How tall did you say this statue? Uh, roughly six foot tall. <clears throat> um, oh, thank you, Choice. Mm hmm. Uh, our cleric's not sitting on the other side. I try to push you. I try to crush you over on the other side. Okay. Um, we're going to do a strength check. Um, give you a plus one because I like your idea. Six. Ooh. Well. And then my cleric got a nine. A nine? Plus one, that's a ten. No. That's eight plus one. Oh, fuck. 
So the two of you are pushing, pushing on the statue, trying to. And then, Timothy is. I don't know what Timothy's doing. He's pushing on it the wrong way. <laughs> so Poor you guy. guys are all just pushing against each other's weight and strength against yeah, the statue. He's on the side, trying to push it the other way. <laughs> so admits the. Oh. Should I just I walk over and I kind of guide him to the side we're on? Okay. Let's try again. Uh Leroy, you do have two henchmen. Do either of them have any weapons? Uh yes. Using the uh one of their gold I bought them open. There oh, are fighter. Uh, four orcs remaining, including the war boss, the war chief. Can there just be three? Oh, you're right. Cool. Yeah. But including the war boss? So yeah. Five? No, so there's so the war boss and then three uh, normal okay. orcs. My fighter is going to swing. Okay. With its sword. Make a attack against the orc. Not Tony. I can actually show that on camera if needed. Oh, I I believe you. I've never seen you roll anything below a twenty. <laughs> <laughs> That is a 9 to hit with a D8. Wait. A so you rolled a... My, or no, you rolled a... Six. So a 6 plus 1? Yeah, so 7. Times 2? Yeah. 14, yeah. Okay. Wow. <laughs> um, so your fighter, you said he has a sword? E, yes. Okay. So he slashes oh, into... Were you attacking the boss? The yes. one that dropped you? Okay, Olga comes up and she goes to slash at the war boss and he looks at her and grins, ready for the attack to schloff off of his armor again. And she catches him right in the side of the neck. It doesn't quite behead him, but it goes in deep enough that he like he's in shock for a moment and then you see the life leave his eyes as his head falls over and he falls to the floor. Oh, bye. Would you say, would you say he's nearly headless? Yeah, he's a nearly headless ah. orc. The other three orcs do yeah. still seem to keep their morale. In fact, they appear enraged now that there's a power vacuum where their uh, boss once was. Um... Uh. My other henchman is going to use... Oh, you have two, dagger. that's right. Okay. So that's going to be 1d20 and d4 if I hit. That is a 19. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, that hits. And that is a 3. Okay. So he stabs one of the orcs kind of in the kidneys. Clearly striking some major uh, organs. And the orc's kind of taken aback and appears to reach back towards where he was uh, stabbed. It doesn't quite drop him, though you can tell it was uh, nearly a killing blow. The two orcs who have not yet been hit kind of shoulder off of each other, and one of them goes to strike at... What was your other henchman, uh, Leroy? Olga? No, not Olga. The other one? Uh, Ingrid. Ingrid. Does a 16 hit Ingrid? It surely does. Mm. So, no. it's roughly a glancing blow as he comes in at <clears throat> uh, Ingrid's chest plate or chest, what is she wearing? Leather? Leather chest plate. 
Um, barely slicing it. Cutting her for one damage. Sounds good. Look at me rolling low. The second orc is going to attack... Um, Raymond, you had a, uh, a henchman that attacked the orcs? <clears throat> I did. Oh. Uh, pick your least favorite one. I just hit him for an 18. I blocked. <clears throat> well, well, actually, 18? I, I don't know if I blocked then. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Uh, so, yeah. whichever henchman, I'll leave it up to you, uh, is struck... Jeez. For three damage oh, in the shoulder with the sword. One, yeah, I don't care. Well, one of your freebies is getting stabbed. <laughs> well, we'll we'll go with we'll go with John Silverbush. He 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 fought hard. He didn't have a weapon, but yeah. <laughs> he was. The a sad disaster. thing is, both of my fucking companions could tank that. But that would kill me. But to be fair, you haven't attacked the orcs at all. That's just true. So, um, I, I haven't succeeded yet. The war boss <laughs> is then going to make an attack. Oh no, the war boss is dead. Uh, the yeah, the orc that was stabbed by uh, Grizzle Gloves' henchman is going to attack that henchman. Does a six hit? A six doesn't no. hit. Okay. He's he's quite wounded, and he goes to strike, and his sword clatters into the dungeon floor. It's back to you guys. There's uh, roughly two and a half orcs left. Is there anyone on the other side of the statue still? Um, no, all three of you are now on one side. Okay, well... There's no one to push it onto. I won't push it any. Oh. Who went? Who went first? I'll just take another hit onto the dude or closest guy. Whoa! <laughs> no, I won't. I'll, I'll do like I'll I'll try to hit him though. I got a six. You go to strike him yet again with your well. You go to strike a different one with your mace. And you're just shy of him as he pulls back, kind of recoiling away from you. Oh, all right, all right. Well, henchman number two is going to go for the same guy. Let's check it. Okay. No, no, he won't. He got a seven. He's, we're trying. We're trying hard. They are trying. But, yeah. alas... <laughs> He also misses his strike. Who's next? Oh. Um, I'll I'll go, I guess, and then you can turn around and go when you're done with the wee one there. I rolled a seven. In general. Oh, um, I rolled a seventeen to hit. Okay. A 17 will hit. Alright, let's roll this dice for damages. We got an 8. Okay. With 8 damage, uh, what kind of weapon did you have? It's a sword. Is it a D8 or a D6? Mm. I'm a fighter warrior, so... Oh, I think... I could have sworn it was a D8. I can check real okay. quick. Either way, it would have been enough. <clears throat> um, what up, what up? Hey, what's up, your ants? We're playing some D&D BX tonight. It's been a while, so we're uh, still trying to figure it out here. I'll be right back again. The back door opened. Anyway, um, yeah, we're going to go with D8 for now. That's just fine. Uh, either way, it's 
plenty enough damage to fell the orc in front of you. And you slice through basically just the upper portion of its chest across the collarbones. It sprays blood at you and drops to its knees. So yeah. Dwimmer Mount was a classic dungeon that's been redone and rewritten a couple of times. The version that we're playing was done as a Kickstarter. I think it was finished in like 2012 or 2013. So within the last 10 years, but, um, you know, it's, it's definitely got the classic vibe, uh, to the overall layout. And the maps themselves I'll, are beautiful. I'll review the sword damage after. Yeah, if you can find anything on it, um, I'll have to look up. Well, actually, it's probably right. Attacking. See combat. Combat. Attacking. 25. Um, so there's still, what, the one full health orc and the one who's been stabbed in the kidneys? Alright, I have my two guys. If you want me to, they both have daggers. Try to hit. Yeah, go right ahead. Make the best call for your people. First one got a 14. You said a 14? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Sorry in advance, you might hear cooing. Not cooing. She's like doing the high pitch coo for her little spinny thing. Um, See, so yeah, I roll damage. For the dagger attack? One. One damage. And was that to the one who's already bleeding or the other one? The one that's already bleeding. Okay. One more attack. So your henchman draws his dagger back and stabs into the same wound. And you can tell that it essentially cripples this orc. And he looks back kind of writhing and falls to his face. Yeah. Poor fella. Shouldn't have looked back. Yeah. He's uh still kind of twitching and writhing on the ground. It appears he uh definitely struck some sort of uh what is she oh she's disappearing on us. Uh definitely struck a whole mess of nerve endings by hitting the same wound twice. Oh, choice right. with the boss kill. Um, I have one more henchman, or just anybody else want to go? Hoping to get an AD and D game going. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, I feel you. Um, Phidias will say something about I'm a scholar, not a fighter. I want to die as he slouches behind the statue with his dagger out, and then Josephine will call him a coward and go help uh, Grizzle's companion. Okay. I would, I would second that cowardice motion. Alright, well... I did say I was a scholar first. I never said I was a coward. Uh, that's a 14 to hit. Unless there's any bonuses for the mats. Let's see, and a 14 will hit? I don't have the mask on her. Never mind. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. I think it would be uh, like when you're damage. attempting to intimidate. And what type yeah. of weapon? A mace. Okay. So she brings the mace crashing down into the chest of the orc. And you can hear as the bones in his chest begin to crack inward as he struck. And he's taken aback, takes one step, and prepares his next attack. Oh, you have one more henchman, don't you? Yeah, I have Jimothy. But, uh... 
I throw my dagger? I'll allow it. All right, Jimothy's going to just look at his dagger, look at the orc, and then back at his dagger and just throw it. Okay. He's going to get a plus one to missile weapon. Nice, nice, yep. Uh, 13. Oh, that was with your plus one? Yes, it was. Yeah, 13 will glance off of his armor, landing on the floor cool. behind him. Actually, I think. Yeah. Hide behind the statue. Nice, nice. Mm, Raymond, did you go in this round? Yeah, I think I went already. Yeah, okay. I missed. So it's just Leroy. Mm -hmm. Uh, my fighter's gonna take a strike. Okay. There's a 17 plus... Please, go to the casino and play craps with Wonder Bread. Three. Please. Three. Uh, 20 hits, right? Uh, just barely, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a nine. Wow. <laughs> okay. And uh which uh which of your henchmen was that? Fighter. I thought they were both the fighters. Champion. What what's her no. name? Uh that is, is that Olga? Olga? Yeah. So Olga swings in with her uh great sword and beheads the orc. His head drops before his body does and goes rolling across the floor of the dungeon. Bye bye. Uh, the other one is a wizard. Oh, very but nice. It's only got a dagger for right now, because mm -hmm. I didn't buy spells. <coughs> yeah, shit's expensive. Like well, you have no money, to be fair. Works? Yeah, that was I mean, the last nobody one. nobody asked. Did they eat to all of our fair. rations? Yeah, the, the, I don't the wizard think they got a chance to eat them, because we were still talking to them. Yeah, you like so, handed them over, and then Leroy went to stab him in I the neck. To, Pick up my rations, Whoa. and Jimothy's gonna pick up his agar once the coast is clear. Mm -hmm. yeah, so there one more? No, that was all of them. I don't think so. Okay, good. Don't have to roll for that one. <laughs> um, can I? I wish to get the uh. Champion orc. Let's mm. See what he's got on his body. Oh, we, we Leroy is KO'd. They're all dead. Yeah, can I help out Leroy? My and, like, go uh, see if I can <laughs> un undead her. Phineas will uh stand up and beat the dagger, brushing himself off. Gentlemen, ladies, what's that? Um, yeah, Raymond. I would say. And then I'll help investigate. Uh, if you take about ten minutes, you can probably uh, bring Leroy back to his senses, um, bringing him up to one hit point. Alright, I'll do that. Woot. Thank you. I'll try to help patch him up. I'll send uh, Josephine Cleric over there to assist you, even though I don't have any abilities at level one. Yeah, Jeffrey Graybush will get in on this action, too. So you're pretty confident that uh, Leroy is going to make it at this point? Um, you know, unless struck a second time. <laughs> um, so you guys have six orcs in the room, the one war boss, and five other... Uh... Is that war boss playing? Clay? Um, unfortunately, he is only wearing chainmail. Oh. I mean, that's not unfortunate, really. Yeah, I mean, it's not plate, but it is chainmail. <laughs> the other ones were all wearing leather. I mean, if nobody wants that chainmail, I'll put it on my follower, Edgeman. 
Um, take it. Yep. Cool. Um, you also. It's a uh, AC of what? Mm. Uh, uh, fifteen. Yeah. Um, you guys also find. A chest containing 18 gold. Twenty-six silver. And thirty-eight copper. Um, you also realize that the war boss was wearing a pair of red leather gloves. They appear to be made of... And we're going to say the cleric would recognize this. They appear to be made of red elven flesh. Elven flesh, bro? Yeah. The red elves in this world are basically like a demonic elf. You can think of them as like the uh, like the red orcs from Warcraft. So would these be like demonic gloves then? Oh yeah, 100%. Yeah, so I don't want those. I'll, I'll tell the group. I'll be like, that shit, I don't fuck with it. That is hella cursed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm good on that. I already can't take my mask off. I would still like use of my hands. Well, I mean, I guess if you can't take the mask off, might as well like put the gloves on. That's a terrible logic. Right? <laughs> right maybe maybe they affect each other, and then you become like super wizard. That's not how it works. We read books and study, and we don't go into dungeons. You dabble into the. Mysteries of the arcane magics. I hate you. I'm gonna go look at those gloves. You're gonna look at them? I think we lost that. Sorry, I'm uh, answering a question for Leroy here. Sorry. You're good. <laughs> so yeah, that was uh, what your quest was. Oh, did we lose? Uh... So we lost dogs. you. Yeah. Oh, she got to do the talks. Okay. <clears throat> no sweat. Um, you were investigating the red red leather gloves. Yep. Um. So they appear. Did they look like leather or do they look like you know just filleted meat sacks uh they look like roughly hewn leather you can tell that okay. it's the skin of some sort of red skinned humanoid opposed to like a, a standard like tanned hide that you would be used to seeing as like a like a hide armor or a standard pair of leather gloves or boots. Um, and the thread that was used is awfully sinewy. They seem somewhat patchwork as opposed to two pieces that were cut like in the shape of a hand. There's like pieces kind of cut into triangles and stitched together. Jerky. Yeah, the gloves of elven jerky. Yeah, I mean, I'd say give them a try on, bro. <laughs> I don't know about all that. They look, they look safe enough. Yeah, the damask did too. I mean, then again, I'm, I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not saying I would do it. Cause I would. I'm gonna have my henchman, my wizard henchman, do it to put you guys uh, at ease for your brain. 
You're going to ask oh, your right your henchmen to try them on? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you're going to have to convince them of that because they're awfully... Uh, <laughs> they look That's awfully true. dangerous. Uh, or are we just okay. playing them up to be dangerous? Are they really dangerous? Yeah. I don't know if I can make any uh, checks on Oh, this is gonna be easy. Okay, so I'm gonna have to convince him. I'm gonna use my charisma, right? Mm -hmm. Correct. 18 plus 2. Wow. And that one's charisma. Oh, dude, he would fall for it. Yeah, I would say with the uh, 18, uh, you could certainly convince him. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna just look at my my henchmen and say these look like they would fit you well, and just like hand it to him. He kind of gives you a look, and knows that he can trust you, and he slides them on, <clears throat> and his face is all of a sudden entirely overcome with what appears to be grief i i put i put my mask on his face like, i don't know if, if that you works, can you works. can uh you go to give him the ma or you go to put the mask on him he accepts it and he still appears to be frowning underneath the mask do you see the frown under the mask like or feel it. He begins to gently weep. <laughs> can he, can no. he take the mask off now? Uh, yeah, yeah. He can. You can remove the mask from him. He uh, oh. he just appears to be incredibly grief stricken. He says, "I, I don't know what's come over me. I just, I feel so horrid that we didn't kill those orcs with more magic. I feel like we could have <laughs> absolutely obliterated them and." And yet we use these these primitive weapons. I agree, I agree with you one hundred percent, sir. But uh, you see, it's a it's a one and done kind of deal right now until we get some rest. So uh, I'm spent. Fair, fair. I wish there was more I could have done. Same. However, how the mask make you feel when you had it on? Well, I felt more powerful, though. And he begins to weep even more. So I just... It's okay, buddy. We can go blow something up later. I just... I wish I knew Fireball or perhaps Magic Missile. This is Ingrid, by the way. Oh, I thought it was your wizard. Yeah. That's oh, Ingrid's the wizard. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Olga, Ingrid, oh, and she. Leroy. Pardon me. No oh, choice <laughs> well, with the boss. I deal. use my magic missile on a mosquito. So. That's true. That's true. I was happy to see that earlier, though. I don't know if it's these gloves or, or, or what's come over me, but I just can't wait to obliterate more orcs with magic. <laughs> and I smile at my wizard. <laughs> huh. Well, perfect. Here. Bring that energy to the next fight, potentially. Yeah. yeah. We might want to. We might want to get out of here. Yeah. Get, lick our wounds, you know. We. I lost. I lost. Silver. Silverbush. John Silverbush. He was a good. Is he dead? He a good dad. He's. He's super dead. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. <laughs> he's he, uber he had dead. Constitution, like. One HP. He, he definitely got hit with more than one HP. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. The orc spat on him extra hard, and he's he's no yeah. more. Yeah. He That's was why. I want I want to actually loot his body and then and then carry him out of here. He he deserves a proper funeral. Or he, at least yeah, I guess we're doing that. Very. You're gonna carry him the the rest of the dungeon. Yeah. He he what he only. He has a current carry with 604. 
So I give that to my other henchman. Mm, it is going to slow him down a little bit, home. but... Oh, I got you, I got you. So I just, I'm just carrying his body weight, basically. Which I don't know how much... Person I'm trying to find my uh, required roles for morale here. I do have 14. Oh yeah, because somebody died. Fairly strong, I'd say. Fairly? I am slightly, slightly above the average male. Freezing. <laughs> um, what is your charisma, uh, Raymond? Minus one, eight. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, uh, go ahead and make a charisma check, and we'll see how your uh, morale hangs out. I like how we were all like, ooh. <laughs> eight. Uh, your... No, because you didn't hire the retainer. So, unfortunately, he denies your request to carry out uh, uh, the other Grey Bush's uh, belongings. He doesn't want to carry the belongings? Nope. What? <laughs> he says, I'm not but going to just... carry a dead man's gear. I wasn't paid enough for it's this. It's just like torches. It's... What? It's useful stuff. He didn't have anything good. Well, he had like, you know, utility knife, I guess. He says, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I feel like I'm not being paid enough for it. I'll take... I'll take two gold coins, and you got it. Two fucking gold coins. Two fucking gold coins. I know. I know it's more than my agreed share, but... What I just saw was ridiculous. How about 44 copper? <laughs> uh, okay, roll charisma. Ooh. Oh, God. Just pay the man already. Uh, 10. He says, you insult me. God damn it. All right. One gold piece. Are they both gray bushes? Yeah, this is like Jeffrey Graybush. This is my, <laughs> this is my brother. <laughs> and your other brother? No, no, that was Silverbush. Oh, what a cousin? Yeah. He says, I'm not going to carry our cousin's trash out of here unless you pay me more. I told him, I, one gold, you're being a bitch. Like, come on. We got, I'll ca I'm carrying his body. You carry his stuff, that's fair. Um, he says, well, if you're not going to pay me, then I suppose I should take it up with the clergy when we return. I, I won gold. He's not taking it. What, one gold and 44 copper. <laughs> Is that all you have? Uh... Deception check? Yes. <laughs> he's he's not buying it. What's that? Uh, oh, that's a, what? Five, one and a half? One and a half gold? Four silver? Two, two fucking gold, you son of a bitch. <laughs> you, you goddamn greedy motherfucker. <laughs> he smiles at you knowing he's got you. And he happily, like, put that shit in my hand. I give it to him, that little, little, little rascal. He takes it and overburdens himself carrying all the other bullshit that his buddy had. I just overburden himself. Oh, wait, he just got chained. 600. Just chained away. <laughs> um, chain mail. That's horse chain mail. Okay, that's a little bit different. Hold up. Uh... 
Yeah. Uh, Four hundred. Four hundred. Four hundred coins. Six hundred and four. Well, minus a spear. Mm -hmm. Two spears. <laughs> minus two spears. Yeah, they both broke. So that's 400. That's 1,000. Plus, yeah, dude. He's just like right below his carry. <laughs> yep. So he's going a little slowly. Hey, Blurry and Choice with the boss kill. Do a big boss. So he's moving a little slowly, but uh, yeah, he can, he can schleff it. Perfect. Yeah, and I got the other. I got his body on me. Just like carry him, fireman and him, you know, over the shoulders. I like it. So within this circular room, there's three other hallways uh, that match the one that you entered from. Uh, to the south, east, and west. At the end of each of them is also a double door, very similar to the one that you had entered through. Now I would note that the hallway that you entered through, you did notice two doors. One immediately on the left, and one about 50 feet up on the right. And as you look down each of the other hallways, there appear to be various doors on the left and right. Notably, to the south, there's actually an open entrance uh, going to the west. traps through the doors well you gotta pick a door probably the one at the end you guys have three sets of double doors to the east south and west west we should get the fuck out of here west <laughs> what do you guys want to do uh you want to get out of here I mean, I'm not opposed to doing that and getting more gear and stuff. Yeah, well, you almost died. <laughs> you are at one hit point. Yeah. Maybe Sean we should go back to town. Dead. Like, take a... a night off? And then come back tomorrow refreshed? I mean, I'm down with it. Yeah, wizard will have more spells. What, what, one more spell? <laughs> Better than one. Yep. Yeah, yeah. That could be the difference between us living and dying. You know, saying as uh, I'm spent right now and spent most of that kind of lovely statue here over. Yeah, so let's. Oh. I vote we go. So you can head back through the double doors to the north that you had entered from? Yeah, let's, let's do that. And then it would be east outward, right? Um, so you'd go to the north and then the west. North, west, west formerly known as south. And the doorway is then to the north. But oh, you'll go through the double doors, slightly to the west, and then back to the north. I'm oh, overthinking it. Okay. There we go. Perfect. So you guys pass through a doorway to the west and to the east on your way down the uh, corridor. They're both sealed shut. And you plan to exit the dungeon? Yeah. Okay. So you guys head back out the main entrance. Um, you can basically head back down the uh, stairs that you had arrived in. And you figure it's going to take you about a third of a day's journey to get back to Montburg. Mungberg? What was it? Muntberg. Muntberg. Yes, to return to Mountain Mountain. Perfect. I have that written down. You said one third day? 
What's that? How many days did you say? About a third of a day. So roughly eight hours. What, what, where's the sun right now? Um, let's see, you guys were in there probably throughout the night, so we're going to say uh, it's early morning. The sun is just beginning to rise. Ooh, so we're probably, <laughs> yeah, we should probably get out, get back to town and yeah, rest up. Good. For sure. I'm down. So <laughs> let me... Was there some loot to split? Today? Yes. Are we talking about the loot from last time? Yes, both. I didn't get to read all the discussion that you guys had earlier about splitting things and stuff like that, so. Um. Or were you not involved in that? I don't I think he uh, got anything claimed. Oh. I thought you guys were having claim. You guys were having discussion about it. Well, didn't we find gold or something? Yeah, 10 gold and 400 pieces of silver. But the other guy has those. Oh, uh, Tom has that? Yeah. <laughs> Tom, that greedy, greedy. <laughs> yeah, he disappeared on you guys. Like, wait a minute. What happened to that warrior? Jack, he's like, that fighting man. For you today. Oh, blurry. Well, you got 105 seconds left on the boss fight, at least. So, uh, what's a. Uh, what's. What's what was the loot we split in this ton or this last last little orc battle? Yeah, you're gonna have to talk to him about that obsidian piece. But uh, as for the new stuff, you can talk about that on the way back to town. So what do we got? <laughs> oh no! Did who wrote down the uh, the loot? I know. Right? Uh, we got 18 gold, 26 silver, 38 copper. I mean, we can just give it to you, because we all got the gems worth times that much. And you guys will have to pay your retainers a certain amount. Yeah, so I'll need that money, so... Let's see. Goat. I don't think they heard you. Uh, how much was it? Again? Oh, the the gold and everything. Yeah. Eighteen gold. 26 silver and 38 copper. I just wrote down copper. <laughs> 38 <laughs> copper. Yeah, let you have those coins. We have the gems from the room. I want to go see how much this uh, gear up here is worth. And then I'll get back to the rest of you guys. Yeah, see so what we make the town. I think retainers take, uh, I believe it's a half a share. I just want to be sure here. I'm not breaking this. Uh, Scared of half. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh 
totally a fine argument to make to them. Mm -hmm. Well, one's dead, so the half share... That's like... 25% of what I receive. Is that what that is? What's a share? A split of the loot. Yeah, so they take a certain amount of your split of the loot. Um, we're going to go with a quarter. Um, at different levels, it recommends different amounts. And being that you guys are level one, typically you wouldn't even have retainers. So we'll just go with a quarter of a share. Which is how much? Uh, a quarter of whatever amount of gold and profits you have on your person. 25%. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so you guys return to Mountain Mountain formerly known mm -hmm. as Muntberg um, you see a large main gate uh, it appears to be accessible only by a drawbridge um, which at this point ha appears to have just been lowered uh, there's a gatehouse made from granite blocks it stands 20 feet tall um, you can see that there's crossbowmen keeping watch at the top of the gatehouse while two men at arms, uh, stand at the base greeting travelers. Um, all of you would be familiar with, uh, Muntberg. Um, and as such, you know, being citizens, you don't have to you know, directly announce your names or intentions or anything as you enter. Is there any... Yeah, I'm going to go to the graveyard. Yeah, I was going to say, is there anything specific you guys are looking for? Um, there is... Maybe a place to sleep? Yeah, we should sleep. So there is the Green Dragon Inn, and there is also the Chapel of Tyke, which would be where the uh, graveyard would reside. I think I'm going to go to the Dragon Place after we all go to the graveyard. Yeah. Oh. Sorry, there's the oh, Temple of Typhon. Yeah. So it, that would be at the Temple of Typhon. Um, it's overseen by a cleric named Louis Her Herent, H E R I N T. And several alkalites and so on and so forth who serve under him. Um, there are many clerics um, to Typhon. Uh, he behaves imperatively towards nearly everyone in Muntberg, particularly non-humans and those of other faiths. He's friendlier towards fellow devotee, uh, devotees of Typhon. And even then, he expects to be uh, accorded with great respect on the account of his station. So he's a, he's a little haughty. Um, he can cast other cleric spells on behalf of others for offerings of gold pieces per spell. Um, keep in mind, you'll only have to pay half if you are also a worshiper of Typhon, which your cleric probably is. Yeah, so we're going to bury John Silverbush 
we talking to this guy right now? Yeah, we should. Uh, you don't have to. As a cleric, you could actually lead a, a burial without alerting the uh, the clergy, so to speak. Yeah. yeah, I'll just do that. Okay. So you guys spend about two hours uh, digging a grave and burying... It was Silverbush? Yeah, John Silverbush. Yep. Poor you bury John Silverbush. He was just a boy. You feel as though Typhon smiles upon you. And as you look up at the tower, you can actually see Louise Heronet uh, physically smiling upon you. He appears pleased that, uh, well, not pleased that your companion died, but pleased that you are <laughs> doing your duty to take care of it. Yeah, just gotta do my duty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do have a quick question, just for game purposes with the henchmen. Mm -hmm. So the henchmen, when rolled, they get gold, right? For whatever class they are. Like, the the portion of their their content, right? No, the treasure. They have the zero gold. You basically each of them is a torchbearer with a spear. Okay. That's all I needed. I wanted to make sure. Or if you don't want them to use a spear, I would accept any other weapon that does d6 damage. Basically, whatever okay. you want it to be, it does d6. I broke my spears. That's true. That is true. Um, there are various merchants, a general store, um lawyers offices basically anything that you could think that you might need in this town should be able to be provided to you okay does anyone want to say any last words for uh silverbush i didn't know you silverbush rest in peace silverbush he was a friend he deserved more but he's kind of a little weak Oh, to be honest, <laughs> well, we loved him. So, uh, rest in peace, Silverbush. It's good of you to uh, take your dead out of the dungeon. That's uh, that's a first. I've never seen that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it was Silverbush. Your uh, Silver. your brother seems truly impressed by your willingness to retrieve him from the dungeon he says to you you know i was scared before and and i'm sorry about that you can have this back and he gives you one of your gold pieces oh hell yeah <laughs> thanks brother that's tithing right there yes <laughs> yes i pray that if i fall to the same fate you'll do the same for me don't leave me down there. Never. He seems uh, much more pleased with you. Um, after that interaction, you'll have a plus two to try to convince him to... Uh, uh, well, basically, you'll have a plus two to your morale checks with him. Sweet. Being that he's your brother, and... Uh, you made a solemn vow. Pretty cool. Nice. So is there anything specific that anybody needs? Yeah, I need to get the Garrick Price somewhere. Okay, let's see where we can do that. Um, let's see, we're going to put on... Let's see, no, not Burning Village. That sounds... That sounds <laughs> wrong. Um, village. High okay. Rainock Village. Let's see. Oh yeah. Oh, that's nice. That sounds like Mountain Mountain. So there is. A gemsmith. There is also...
a couple of caravan merchants and a market square. You might be able to have it appraised in any of those three locations. It's also a general store, but you know, he sells like beans and rope. Yeah, I'll probably go to the gemsmith. Okay. <clears throat> So you enter the establishment of the gemsmith. Uh, there's a sign over the top of a pair of carved wooden columns into the door, or that uh, sit on the left and the right of the doorway. Um, as you enter, you see a dwarf with a large brown beard. Um, you would recognize him from your previous travels his name is Delster D-E-L-S-T-E-R and you know that he prefers items of dwarven uh, make however he's always willing to uh, appraise you know basically anything that you could have pulled out of the well it's a dwarven dungeon right yeah so it counts. Uh, uh, the scarab itself is probably Thulian. <clears throat> that being said, he uh, greets you as you enter the establishment. He says, Aye, you look like you've uh, spent some time underground. How are you doing? Yeah. Um, well, if we can take this mask off, it's better. But... That's still relevant. I uh, found something down there I wanted you to take a look at. And I'll hand him the uh, <clears throat> so-called death scarab. He jokes with you and says, Is it the mask? Because I can see it. <laughs> no, no. It, it'll be this. And I reach in my pocket and grab it. Let me see if I can actually pull up the... Da, da, da. The Scarab of Death, I thought, was under... Well, let me see if I can find what it's worth here. weird that they don't have a, a listing for it in the treasures. Let's see. Ten thousand gold pieces. Yeah, right. Hmm. Yeah, five E says it's worth eighty thousand gold. I'm like, okay, five E, calm down. Well, it's clearly the most accurate mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. far. That's just weird. Sorry about the uh, delay here, guys.
Okay. We're going to shoot from the hip. I'm going to do some research on it too uh, before next session, and if I find anything crazy, I'll let you know. Okay. But he says, I, I could probably give you upwards of... I could do... Hmm... Maybe 780 gold for this piece. It's quite ancient. Before our time, that's for sure. Did have Elder Thulian on it. It's going to be some poem, and then I'll read it back to him. My, my, you do know your stuff. Well, I mean, you're stuck in a library, or you're underground, or else it's a... What am I standard to do. <clears throat> well, I'd be happy to take it off your hands if you'd like. Uh, 800 even and it's a deal. Mm, give me a charisma check. I'll give you a plus one because it's such a rare uh, piece. That is a 10. He says, I, you know, I waived the evaluation on this piece for you. Uh, 780 is the best I can do. Fine. Those. And deal. you can hear him spinning the lock to a safe at his feet. And he hands you eight bags of gold pieces. He counts out the last one, taking 20 gold pieces and putting them in his pocket. Says, I, here you are then. Well, thank you. Uh, enjoy the funny thing else and bring it back. I do appreciate that. Pleasure doing business Pretty with you. Sure. I'm sure the others have some gems for sale. Very high quality, I might add. Good. Good, I'd like to see what you have. Uh, try not to die out there, will you? I succeeded last time. Let's uh, go two for two, and I'll <laughs> be seeing you again. We'll meet up the rest of the party. Okay. Did any of the rest of you want to sell your gems or look for anything else? Don't really have any gems to sell. Oh, yeah, I think uh, formerly DM has those. No, cool. we gave it a mount. Yeah. You had the serve con for 100. Yeah, you should have. I might just. What's that? Oh, I was gonna say, I might just hold on to that. For now. Okay. Um, you can also bank your items in town. Okay. Though we yeah, are approaching think. our two hour mark. Oh, I didn't read that. Right. Uh, Raymond has the onyx. Yeah. I can't read. Wait. I have onyx? Yeah, we gave you the onyx. Where do you see this? It's in the ch group chat. Uh, yeah, you guys uh, had... Zycon went to the thief. He took the coins from Obsidian. You get the onyx. Flood got the... Uh, tourmaline. And then I got scared. worth a hundred. A hundred onyx. No, it's worth a hundred. Yeah, it's worth a oh, hundred gold pieces. Yeah, yeah. So we are hitting our two hour mark here. So we'll probably wrap it up at this point. Um, 
Did any of you want to sell your gems? We can do that exchange here, or we can do it when we come back uh, next week. I feel like... Up to you guys. I'll sell the like next week. Yeah. I feel like if we get to the um, sleeping quarters, that would probably be the best place to stop. Yeah. Because then our characters are actually be rested. Okay. So... I mean, I'm planning to head to the tavern slash inn after I got done with the gyms. So... That was my main goal, yeah. yeah. So he'll offer you 75 gold for your onyx. I'm told it's worth 150. <laughs> says, well, if you can find someone who will buy it for double the price, make a... Uh, uh, charisma. Oh, yeah. We'll get it these ones. Oh, shit. That's a 16. Nice. <laughs> he says, and, oh, well, look no further. <laughs> <laughs> and Perfect. he slides over <laughs> two bags of gold, totaling 150 gold pieces. Bueno. I may as well sell my stone too. And this was initially worth five hundred. Does he have like platinum pieces actually? No. Yeah, I want to need a bank or something because I'm not carrying all this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not um, gonna tell you guys how much I have. He says, "Well, for that tourmaline, I could offer you." 420 gold pieces. Are you sure it's not really worth more? Mm. If I were sure, it'd be worth less. Make a charisma. Persuade him. Charisma, where is it? 16. Says, I, I, you got me. Best I could do is 500. Okay. And he slides five full bags of gold your way in exchange for the tourmaline. Totaling 500 gold. So now you guys got some walking around money. Now you can afford to uh, pay your brother two gold when he's afraid. <laughs> so are you guys hoping to stay at the uh, Inn of the Green Dragon? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I'll stay there. I want to persuade the uh, bar uh, keep or the tavern um to let me stay there free. Okay. Um, or pay for my room for me. So, um, the cleric can actually stay at the temple if he so chooses. Uh, they do have private rooms for the clergy there. Sweet. Um, Silverbush is also a cleric. Let's go. Uh, Joseph no, is also a cleric. Yeah. So she'll probably join you guys. And you guys are not required to find uh, room and board for your henchmen. We can just assume that they live in Muntberg. And that they were hired by uh, you four weary travelers. Well, three travelers. Raymond was actually a cleric here. Uh, Jeffrey Graybush is also a cleric. Oh. Well. <laughs> yeah. The brother clerics. The brothers brothers. Two, two brothers. Two brothers. <laughs> two um, brothers, one god. It's just two brothers. As you enter, there appears to be a magic user. You can tell by his pointed hat. Sitting at a table off in the corner. Um, there's a woman at the bar... 
How pointy is his head? Mm, it's fairly pointed, slightly crooked. Fairly. Pointed. It looks like a. Um, it looks like a, a knockoff Gandalf hat. Oh. How knockoff? Hmm. Like more felt than cloth. Um, as you enter, the woman at the bar says, Hey, what can I get for you? Free room, please. Uh, a free room? We're not really in the business yes. of selling free rooms. Uh, our private quarters cost one gold piece per night. Surely There's also a common room with enough space for perhaps a dozen of you uh, at one silver piece per night per individual. Apparently you can still pay for me. Assuming as you have a job, right? I... I suppose. Make a charisma. Unnatural 20. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I rolled a natural 20. Check it. <laughs> she kind of contemplates it for a second and exchanges glances with you and the rest of your party. Just, ah, that's mighty clever of you, but... No, I must insist, we are running a business here. Okay. Would you wary no. group of adventurers like to stay in our common room, perhaps? It is cheaper uh, for the individual. So, I'm going to slide her a piece of silver. Commoner. And then, as soon as she's not looking, I'm going to pickpocket. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. Fine. D100, right? For a 20% chance? Yeah, so you need an 80 and up. Perfect. Okay, hand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so she's busy... Collecting the funds from Leroy. Would you believe me if I got a hundred? Literally? I I would absolutely <laughs> believe you. I rolled the holy zeros in a one. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> God damn. It's <laughs> like actually ridiculous. Um yeah. So you managed to pickpocket her. Uh, I've got a table for this. Um, so until she gets to where she doesn't need those numbers. She needs a 20 or higher and still rolls a 98. Okay. Um, on In her pocket, you find that she has a flask of water, three silver pieces, and a pouch containing 56 copper pieces. You taking her fucking water too? <laughs> it's brutal. Oh, uh, meanwhile, Blurry was caught stealing my goats. Shame. Better roll the one hundred, bud. He's gambling out there, man. He's keeping busy. Oh, good morning, baby. Well, to steal your goats. I'm getting a private room. You guys can do what you want. I here's the key for you. It's uh down the hall and to the left. And she takes your gold and slides you a uh, old iron key. Room number two, mind you. Noted. Hey, you got a goat. Look at him, goat. Wow. Such goat. And I'm gonna slide her one gold piece. And ask my room. I have a private room as well. Well you uh uh Raymond, are you are you in there or are you gonna stay with the clergy? No, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be at the clergy okay. show. She says, uh yeah, you lot uh 
must stick to your own. I see that. That makes sense. Well, here you are, and she slides you... Uh, uh, oh, this is the one safe chance we'll have to sleep alone. The number three key. This is down the hall and to the right. And, uh, right. Leroy, you were taking the common area? Oh, no. That's what yeah. the silver was? Okay. So, uh, there's... Uh, 11 other cots in the common area. Um, and I suppose we can talk about who occupies those cots next week. Oh, I think there's like a 10 second delay on it, Beastie. Well, then I will do it again and when or not. Wonder Bread. Oh, maybe that's it. Wonder Bread with tell the goat theft. Broke. Yeah, it won't even tell you. Oh, there you go. Oh. <laughs> you should have... You've been in chat. You should have gained some over time. Uh, I, I did. Oh. <laughs> well. How do you see how much experience you have? Exclamation point XP or points or experience. I had like 2k. Oh, XP. Yeah. <laughs> XP. <laughs> this is a D and D stream, Ron Red. Come on. God. Damn! Look at those. Oh, I gotta turn the bot back on. But uh, we do have a bot that works. It's gonna work in chat, but it does work in the Discord for rolling dice and so on. Yeah. Yeah, we should get some weed-themed commands. We need more commands. Oh, man, Wonder Bread is robbing me blind. I'm a goat thief. <laughs> I gotta figure out where to raid out to before you keep stealing from me. Let's see here. Uh, Skull! Let's see. Walls is playing Pokemon. Uh, Saturday's playing Dungeons & Dragons. Oh, shit, I like that guy. We should raid them. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. He eh. might try to take your goats. That's true. He is known to do that. Um, I got raided by this person yesterday. And then there's Kanashi. As well. Oh yeah, it puts me at number one stealing that goat. I'm the best. Who were you raided by? Did you send it to a group chat or something? No, I just had to. Oh yeah, they uh they hang out with Kitty, I think. Are they live right now? Yeah, they're live right now, I think. Let me, uh, they oh, they're ending okay. right now. Shit. Rip. Okay, okay, so don't go there. Uh, uh shy guys on. As well. Hey, have a great night, Oak. Oak, are you streaming tonight? Are you guys live right now? We're trying to figure out where the hell to go here. Next stream tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Is the husband bald streaming? Uh, I think he is under... Uh, under his alt. I don't know if I can even raid him. Tuesday, Friday, Saturday? Yeah, that's what I thought. Let's see if we can raid the Asmonbald. There's only 8,300 people in there. <laughs> only. Only. <laughs> Let's see, will it let me? Oh, no shit. Okay, we raid on the Asmonbald. Be on your best behavior, boys. Um, okay. We could cancel it. What do you have? No, that's fine. You just said best behavior. So I said, uh, you know. Your aunt says raid small channels. I couldn't agree oh, more. Better. Plus, the Zachrar account, he tries not to monetize anyway. So, yeah, get banned, Blurry. Oh, Blurry with the big bad. You said Kanashi's up? Yeah. He's playing Need for Speed right now. 
Let's see. I think. Or he's smoking. No, he's racing right now. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna raid Kanashi. He's chilling with three people. He's also DT crew. Yes, sir. Show him some love. Tell him we sent you. I'll be in there probably in just a couple of minutes. Thank you guys for another good game tonight. It's a lot of fun, and I'm uh, really enjoying uh, learning this old school D&D uh, &D yeah. setup. And you got your kill. Rest in peace, Silverbush. That's true. That's true. I almost had a player kill. That was, uh, almost. you really rode the line there with that one, Leroy. <laughs> That's how I grew up. We've Dr. played Kanga. variations of it over the years. You know, our 3-5 was very similar to this uh, in its first inceptions, but I'm looking forward to it. It's a lot of fun, and it's a lot more intuitive and, like, hands-on than uh, 5e. 5e does have its charm, but started in fourth grade about 40 years of D&D. &D. That's awesome. It is truly awesome. I've got uh, about 15 years of D&D &D under my belt currently, but I'm only pushing 29, so there is that. Anyway, you guys all have a good night. We're going to send you out to Kanashi here, uh, show him some love. He's also DT crew, speaking of. We got a, we got a thing for that. The DT crew. Check them out too. 420 friendly, collaborative streaming house, usually 24-7. As close as they can anymore. <laughs>